A lot of attention. You know, the deputies involved in this incident have already been taken out of the field while the department conducts an investigation. But some in this Lancaster community want those off deputies fired immediately. Enough is enough. We have been down this road before. We are tired of white deputies beating black people down as if we have no rights. Lancaster residents and community activists are outraged after watching the videos of L.A. County Sheriff's deputies arresting a black couple outside their local Winco grocery store on June 24th. I was traumatized. I became very angry. And I was profoundly moved to want to take immediate action. It's disturbing. There's no ifs and buts about it. In a news conference, uh, LA County Sheriff Robert Luna explained issue. that a Winko store employee called 911 to report two customers were assaulting loss prevention workers after a theft. We're just going to pat you down, buddy. Big dog. I don't have nothing. The couple had allegedly stolen a cake. While the man was being handcuffed, the woman was recording on her cell phone. Then suddenly... No, you can't touch Stop. me. You can't touch Stop. me. Ah! Get down on the ground. You... Get on the ground. It's already on you. Stop. I don't get... Stop and get punched in the you, face. You punch me and you're going you're gonna to get sued. On the ground, the woman was pepper sprayed while her partner kept telling deputies. That's real, man. man. You got to do that to her. She got cancer, big bro. Man, don't do her like that. Imagine if it was your grandmother, your auntie, your mother, your sister, uh, body being slammed to the ground for simply recording their partner's mistreatment on, and Christian. unlawful detainment. Just couldn't believe my eyes. I was just so upset. Lisa Michelle Garrett was sitting in her car watching the arrest and recording on her cell phone. Oh, no. It was really, really bad. And he had his fist up to her and he said, I'm going to sock you. And that's you can hear me in a video saying, don't you sock her, don't you sock a woman. Oh. The woman, whose name has not been released, was arrested and cited for assaulting an officer and battery on loss prevention personnel at the store. The man faces charges of resisting an officer, petty theft, and interfering with a business. Protesters went inside the Winko store to express their anger, alleging store employees called it a robbery instead of petty theft to get deputies on the scene faster. If it's a petty theft once they're out the store, then that's all it is. A petty theft was a misdemeanor. But when you say an armed robbery, that escalates things to a whole different level where people can get killed. No one likes to see that. I don't think anybody ever wants to see uh, any force being applied in any manner. If I'm looking at this objectively, uh, what were the deputies thinking? Meaning, uh, they're responding to a robbery. Uh, what's happening on the other end? We heard the press conference from Sheriff Luna. It was a disgrace. It was disheartening. It was disappointing. Sheriff Luna, hear us today. We voted for you to do the right thing, and we demand that you do the right thing. Sheriff Luna says they will be taking a look at the use of force. Was it excessive in this case, keeping in mind what those deputies knew when they arrived here? So they will be taking a look at that. And Sheriff Luna says, please just have patience while we conduct this investigation. Reporting from Lancaster, I'm Gina Silva. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.